Hi, this is Acting Secretary Patrick Murphy and Chief of Staff of the Army, General Mark Milley. Congratulations on your commissioning and the beginning of your next chapter in your life. We're sorry we can't be there with you today, but we want to share some thoughts with you and your families during this defining moment in your life. This is a special day for each of you as you pin on the gold bars and are welcomed onto our team of Army leaders. Your families are very, very proud of you right now as you join the less than 1% of Americans who currently volunteer to stand guard and protect our freedoms. This is a special day, a special day for the Army as well. Your commissioning marks the point where we begin the process of passing the torch to you, the next generation. And remember, remember your oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, which really embodies an idea that all men and women are created equal, regardless of religion, race, ethnicity, or gender. And that idea runs true in the Army as well. Today, America's Army becomes your Army. It seems not so long ago that both of us were sitting where you are right now. I was at King's College in Pennsylvania, graduating from the University of Scranton ROTC program, eventually going on to teach at West Point and deploying to Iraq with the 82nd Airborne Division. General Milley was at Princeton, heading to the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg and earning the coveted Green Beret. Today, the future Chief of Staff of the Army and possibly the Secretary of the Army stands amongst you. 36 years ago, I raised my right hand and swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That oath led me to multiple tours leading our soldiers in the crucible of ground combat. You, each of you, are now taking that same oath. And there's no doubt in my mind that you'll be facing similar challenges in the months and years ahead. And I know that each of you are up to the task. Our nation has placed a special trust and confidence in each of you. Each of your paths will be different, but all of them will be challenging, rewarding, and come with a solemn responsibility. And all of them will require your sound judgment because each of you are a leader of character, charged with leading our nation's most precious resource, our soldiers. And just like you're about to do, each of those soldiers raised their right hand and volunteered. And just like each of you, every soldier also enlisted their parents their spouse, and their family. And just like you, they joined at a dangerous time, trusting the Army to keep their best interest in mind. You must now preserve the special trust and confidence that every soldier and every family member and every American now gives you. Leading a platoon of soldiers and their families will leave you with some of the most personal and most lasting lessons of your life. Leadership is the most important element of readiness in combat power. There is no profession in which leadership matters more or in which the responsibilities are greater than the profession of arms. General Milley and I spend all day, every day, making sure that you have the resources to be ready. When we testify to Congress, when we meet the President or Secretary of Defense, when we visit your units or your hometowns, we are trying to tell our Army story. We are advocating to make sure each of you and all your units have the resources to be fully manned to be properly equipped, and to be rigorously trained. We train like we fight, but we need each of you to make sure our greatest resource, our people, are well led. That is your charge. You know, leadership, leadership is built upon trust. Your success and our success depends not on individual accomplishments, but on everyone's accomplishments. Trust is the lifeblood of our military organization, the bond that keeps a force together. Importantly, trust is one of the few things that must be earned every day. Our nation and the world trust our Army to make a positive difference wherever we go. Whether it's in the conduct of your daily physical training or your individual job requirements, no matter what unit or MOS, no matter what branch you're in, I expect that each of you to know the standard, to be the standard, and to enforce the standard. Leaders must be competent, compassionate, and most of all have character. And over time, your unit will become a reflection of you. Thank you for the service you will give to our nation. Some of you will serve a lifetime in uniform. Most of you will have careers after your Army life. But all of you will be soldiers for life. Never forget that the Army is a catalyst for a lifetime of service. Each of you, whether you join active duty, reserve, or National Guard, each of you is a civic asset 
to our nation. And each of you are a leader of character that will provide our nation a lifetime of service. The Army and its great soldiers await your leadership. No matter where you are headed, and I hope our paths cross soon, I know that you will make us all proud. Army, Army strong. strong.